Good afternoon, YouTube. Today we have some awesome content around Hylion stock. I'm sure some of y'all probably already seen it. Uh, so we're gonna get into some of the Detmar logistic trucks, you know, the trucks that they've been working on and the scheme that they made on these trucks. We got an Instagram clip that I'm gonna show y'all. It's 15 seconds long. We're gonna get into the actual production line, like what it's looking like inside the factory. They posted that about three hour, hours ago from making this video. And then uh, after that, I'm sure some of y'all saw it. Polyon does have a YouTube channel. Uh, they only have like 1,600 and something subscribers. So I don't know, I didn't look at how many views they get per video, but we got uh, the, I wanna say it's one of the like higher up executives from Detmar Logistics. And they're kind of going over the customer program and like he's talking really, really high about Hylion. So as an individual stock investor, especially one that, you know, is a spec that's been going downhill and I mean, kind of still is like this goes to show you that stock price does not mean anything about the company. Like fundamentally, I know there's been a lot of short sellers. I mean, that happened so many times, like they had that with Tesla stock, look what that done. I mean, that's just one to name the few, that's just the most recent one. But uh, without further wasting y'all's time, uh, so we're once again, we're gonna go over the Instagram video, we're gonna go over what the assembly line's looking like, and then it's about a four minute video at the end. If you like this content, make sure you like, subscribe, if you feel like it, and if you truly like this content, so without further ado, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get into this video right now. It's bad. I don't know if, uh, if y'all were big truck fans. Uh, I was raised in a trucking household and uh, my dad's super hard worker and uh, I fell in love with semi trucks. And uh, I've, even, I've thought about starting a semi truck business, a trucking company and all, but it's hard work. My dad doesn't want me to, so uh, yeah, we're gonna stick it out with college. But we gotta play that again. Cause, and I got a picture, like that doesn't do anything. Send it back one more time. The lines, everything's perfect, man. And guys, when we're going through this, like think of like one of the most famous investors of all time, Warren Buffett. I'm sure just about everybody knows him. Y'all all know that he loves brands. And especially, in, I mean, this really doesn't uh, apply itself to Hollyon, but uh, like Nike tennis shoes, once companies get built out, which is what Hollyon, that's what we're all investing for, uh, brands, especially in times of inflation, if you never research Warren Buffett, brands is one of the best things in times of inflation. Uh, Cause I mean, people are, people are gonna want the Nike tennis shoes. They don't care how much they cost, they're gonna get them. But uh, that's just a little side note, that's for far in the years of Hollyon does get built out. But uh, yeah, check that out. That's, and you'll see that a mile away too, Hollyon, that's just, the, every tr every Swift driver, every CEO that's driving down the road or maybe having somebody else driving down the road for all we know. But uh, every trucking company, CEO, executive, they're gonna see that and just, that's a beautiful truck, you know? And I, I personally love the Volvos. I think that's a, the VOX series. So uh, yeah, that's just beautiful. And then look at that assem assembly line. Bay one, bay two, bay three, bay four is taken up. And dang it, I cut it off. Bay five was, they were all, all five bays were uh, in progress of installing the hybrid unit. So uh, yeah, this is phenomenal news, or not really news, but just seeing how these trucks look. Like, if you don't think that looks, well, I mean, let's be honest, that's sexy, man. If you don't think that's sexy, pool. So uh, we're gonna get over to their YouTube channel. So this is Holly on YouTube channel, just in case some of y'all don't know. Uh, they also have a uh, Instagram now, and uh, Thomas Healy has a Twitter page. 
which uh, you can get a lot of good news off the Twitter page, but we're gonna get into this. So the trucks that you just saw, that was Detmar Logistics. And now this is a uh, Hollyom's customer journey, Detmar Logistics video. I thought I'd throw this in there. It is four days old, but you know, if y'all are gonna click off now, thank you for watching. But uh, the rest of y'all, we're gonna get into this video right here. Detmar Logistics came to us with a couple challenges. They wanted to improve their ESG rating and they wanted to reduce their carbon footprint throughout their transportation segment. As you guys know, Detmar Logistics is a Fraxan logistics company. They're looking to provide their customers with a net negative carbon emissions. And just so y'all know, like Fraxan companies like that, those, those are basically off-road trucks. Like when they're going and getting their loads, driving back out, like these trucks are going through some rough stuff. So Detmar is saying that these trucks, you know, are working well for them when they've done the initial phase and then buying more. Like these trucks can do this type of work. They can do anything else. Like this is the hardest, like this and log truckers, like go through the roughest terrain, the hardest of conditions. So that speaks volumes in itself. In the oil gas market. Sustainability is becoming more important. Um, and there hasn't been many options in trucking uh, as of yet. Uh, so what we've seen with what Hylion has been doing with Class A tractors and the electrification process is, is phenomenal. If you look at the different types of technologies and what it takes to charge or fuel those trucks, the infrastructure isn't quite there yet. Hylion's approach is great. Dang it, we gotta go back to that. So any of y'all that are uh, mechanics or maybe even electricians, look at the job that they're doing i mean they're gonna you know use a heat gun on that little bit of wrap right there that they have but as far as like how they install everything the job quality i mean yeah it's a little blurry on the background you can't see everything but they it's clean and uh that's uh that says a lot about the mechanics the engineers i mean the way they install everything fits perfect you got perfect 90 degree bends, everything's just clean. And that's, uh, I mean, that looks amazing. Quite sure, yeah. Hylion's approach is very different from most uh, other electrified trucking solutions we've seen is that they're uh, working with electrified powertrains, uh, working into natural gas, which has the current infrastructure already, whereas we're not seeing charging stations or hydrogen stations uh, available uh, as of yet. So we think that their, their solution with natural gas uh, is going to lead the way in electrification for class A tractors. It so is. when a fleet adopts our technology, our customer success team and application engineers and customer engineers uh, are deeply involved. They start creating a relationship with the fleet and they are the, the, the crew that really manages and understands how the vehicles are, are performing throughout the life of the vehicle. So here at Hylion, you know, we think a relationship doesn't end at a sales agreement or a delivery of the truck. Uh, once a fleet has a Hylion system, we want to make sure that their driver... So, yeah, this could be whenever they're filming and all, they want to make sure the brand's everywhere. But, uh, I mean, these, it seems like, like the dude's gloves, like that hat looks a little bit dirty, like he actually works in it. That goes a lot like, are you gonna wear, like I love Colombian shirts. Are you gonna wear something? Like these people truly love this company. They're wearing Hylion, Hylion shirts. The gloves he had were lime green. I mean, these guys are, I mean, they're fanboys and that's awesome. They're working for the company. They're gonna work harder because they love the company that they're working for. I mean, that just goes to show you a lot about the executives right there for how much they care about their employees fleet management, their techs are supported, not just in the first few weeks of delivery and operation, but for the entire life cycle of the product. So our customer support starts with the drivers. The drivers are the ones who use the system every single day. So one of the big things that we like to do for them is we like to go on site and do a training in a format that they do every single day on a truck walk around. Our goal is to change a driver's driving behavior as little as possible. So uh, when we're in the cab, showing them what the Hylion system is doing, it's mostly just a series of outputs showing them what the Hylion system is doing at any given moment, whether it's charging, whether it's discharging, whether it's in a neutral state, and showing them what value that the Hylion system is adding. So after the drivers, the folks who touch the trucks, that's most part of the techs. 
And one of the things that my team does is we make sure they are armed with the knowledge and the tools that they need to work on a truck that has hardware on it that they might not have ever seen before. We go on site, we work with the techs, we walk them around and we explain in even more detail what the Hylion system is, you know, all of our different fluid loops, what our motor is, what that actually is, looks like, and we try to work through any of the special considerations that they might need when they're going from their standard diesel truck or CNG truck to a Hylion hybrid system. Hylion is producing. What more could you want? All right, so that was one question or one concern of mine is uh, that's any manufacturer, whenever you're building a new process, who's gonna work on those trucks, uh, driver breaking down on the side of the road, is he gonna be knowledgeable about the systems? So they have job placements at Hollyon just for these people to teach drivers. And that's a big thing that they said, they want these drivers to change the littlest amount about trucking itself, driving the truck, what they need to do, just so y'all uh, do know, the CDO, they require you to do a pre-inspection, post-inspection of your truck. So you do a walk around, uh, you check fluid levels, you basically make sure the vehicle is safe to operate on any kind of DOT road. But uh, I mean, they're showing the drivers, which is one of the most important thing, or the most important thing, because they're the ones actually operating the truck safely. Uh, you know, somewhat maintaining the truck, maybe topping off fluids and stuff like that, checking the tires, grease and stuff from time to time if they are on the road and something needs done when they see it in their pre-inspection. But uh, they're showing them everything, man. So the, 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 it's gonna be a clear path in. Like there's, no gonna, there's not gonna be any hard steps is what I'm trying to say. And then, like you said, the next person to touch the truck the most is the technician. So whoever is certified to work on that truck, whoever the other company employs to service their vehicles, and that can be major engine overhauls, uh, transmission. They were using auto automatic transmission in that, which I'm sure they will for all the uh, all the electric axles because it just makes more sense. It's more efficient, stuff like that. Less uh, you have less drive. It's harder to tear up than a manual transmission. That way you don't just grind through gears. You get some drivers doing that. But yeah, I mean, they're showing the technicians, the drivers, they're showing everybody like how the process works and they they even had service vehicles. So, I mean, they can go to your place, bring a highly on truck, show you the whole system, how everything's routed and then how to maintain and replace the equipment that they install, whether that's hybrid. And I'm pretty sure they do the same thing with the, uh, the fully electrified uh, CNG technology that is realistic today with the infrastructure that's in place our technology is going to get you that thousand miles of range that's a beautiful truck reduce your carbon footprint it's a realistic long-haul electrified powertrain solution yeah our first step while on is uh, converting our tractors to uh, the hybrid and diesel systems uh, next step, uh, which we'll be doing here very soon, is uh, adding CNG vehicles to our fleet. And, and in the hopes of all this, we're going to want to learn the Hylion system, learn the CNG system, and be prepared to fully convert our fleet to the hybrid truck model. So as you see before the trucks, this is the last time I'll cut you all off, and then the video is almost over. But that's another thing I'll point out. They're letting these drivers get used to the trucks. If there's any questions at all, they're right there at the factory. I mean, they can easily ask like anybody, that any of the technicians, uh, why is the truck doing this? Do I need to do this a certain way? Which I'm sure they they look like they're driving them fine, but they drive them around the factory, make sure just everything, like the driver fits well with the truck. He doesn't have any more questions. Like they cover every single step, which is, and especially when the company starts scaling out, that's going to be a key factor to look into to make sure they don't not saying they will because i love holly on love thomas healy every single thing that they've done they have killed every single promise that they made us you know but um yeah that's just one key factor whenever they start scaling up making sure that they still have the commitment with the customers the drivers the technicians making sure they still give them what they need to know how to operate the trucks maintain them uh, and do that safely while they're on the road. The Hypertruck ERX is going to open up additional doors, a new business for Detmar. And so seeing them grow and expand throughout the journey is just absolutely amazing. 
So we'll start the video there. Um, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Uh, just in case y'all, if y'all did make it this far, thank y'all also. We're going to be doing a video every Monday and Friday. Uh, that's going to be the new schedule. Uh, if there's any really important news anywhere throughout the week, I'll probably do it unedited just to get the news out there. But uh, yeah, so Monday we're going to do uh, an Alibaba video, which is the only Chinese stock that I hold. We're going to kind of dive a little bit deep, not too complicated, but we're going to dive a little bit deep in uh, what I think about it and kind of give some price points of what I think uh, the price is going to bottom at maybe. Um, and is it a good value? Uh, and some of the concerns going around Chinese stocks right now, which that's the only one I do own. But uh, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video and catch me back Monday. See y'all.